What's going on YouTube? It is Flashback here. Um, I've been working on a new uh, planetary miner is what I'll call it. Um, this one flies instead of drives. It just It's very bright under here, might I add. I have like 27 spotlights or something crazy. Um, this thing is capable of being solar powered. I don't have a connector on here yet. It's something, if you really want it, you can add later. Otherwise, it does also have like 8 nuclear reactors as well, but it can still work at least for a short time on what it has there. But alas, it just has a... It's very boxy, as you can see, but that's kind of almost necessary for something like this. And I have tested it. This is with thrust damage on, and these do not do any damage. So it's got a little bit of forward momentum. It needs more f uh, front thrust. Right, and then down here, uh, you see a bunch of thrusters there. It definitely needs more up front. I'll have to figure out where to put those here in a little bit. Um, same thing on the side, and then the back's got the same, but it's also got those two, which helps a lot. And like I said, there's a solar panel on top. Everything's hooked up. There's two medium cargo containers on here. Um, so yeah, that's just how it is. I'll actually go ahead and show you how it flies, and then I've done a little bit of mining here. Alright, so we're going to turn that back on. We will release ourselves. You know what, I'm going to go to fly in first person. Now, I highly recommend not using the mouse if you don't have to. Like just use the arrow keys uh, left and right. It could definitely use a little more uh, upwards momentum, but it's probably more than enough for uh, planetary exploration. Alright, so now that I've gone ahead and showed you what I have here, I'm going to bring it to a stop here. Yeah, as you can see, it is actually quite nice on the inside. I mean, if you can call it an, an inside, per se, but... So over here, we have... It's actually not named over here on the beacon, at least. Let me go ahead and change that. I can actually do that up here. So yeah, that's what it's done so far. That was just like 10, like maybe 2 minutes of mining curious actually I should probably check it out you know what no 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 I got things to do I gotta test something anyway I probably should have tested it beforehand yay mobile arrow miner so cargo containers have some nickel plenty of stone all right cool we are definitely getting cargo that's good yeah I see it's got reactors and everything I know something I do want to see here Ah, uh, remote control. You know what? Just give me a remote control. Control. Alright, uh, I screwed that one up. Give me this. Remote control. Huh, I didn't even know this stuff was on here. That's cool. Alright, anyway. Give me control, and then also, well, actually, now you know what, I don't want to control it remotely like that. What I'll do, well, the point of that is to set, have this set up here, but you'll see on the bottom here, I have, the first one is drills, that one's obvious. Uh, right now I am locked, so I can go in and throw those on. Loud, as always, I need to turn it down. Uh, number two is to increase the low, uh, two and three are for the uh, upwards, or no, for the down thrusters downwards so two is this is just an auto override so two is to increase um, just to have them set I do recommend just the first setting I haven't tried the second I would only assume it would work I'd probably say probably up to the one would work great but three decreases to up increases all right Alright, so it's going to go to town now and get to work. And we're going to try and get out of here. Which is sometimes easier said than done. Oh yeah, yeah, it's mining. It's mining. I'm going to go ahead and get that set up right now, actually. Alright, give me the arrow miner. 
first things first, I need the beacon. Name. Um, arrow mine. If I could use more than one hand, my cup is in the way, which makes it a little more difficult. There we go. That is not quite what I was looking for. And max that out. Why not? There we go. Alright, so control panel here. We're going to go ahead and remote control it. And groups, we're going to bring these down and set them all up. Uh, increase thrust override. Oh. And decrease thrust override. And I have one landing gear in proximity, so I'll go ahead and lock it. And I will come over here and check it out. So, I'm not sure why it hasn't gotten lower here. I mean, it has gotten a little bit lower. So, let's go ahead and get that set up again. I just want to show that you show you it does work. I mean, you can tell it flies, obviously. I got it over here from over there. Alright, so let's go ahead and get that set up then. Alright, remote control. And it does also have a camera on the bottom if you do want it, but I don't really see any reason to. Remote control, yeah. Alright, let's throw that on. Alright, unlock. Alright, let's just throw it down at full speed here and see what happens. Yeah. Probably don't need it quite that fast. We'll go up to like half the max. Yeah. So you can see it lowering now, which is good to see. Now, it's not the fastest miner, but that all depends on what your mining speeds are set to. Um, I'm going to make a large ship version of this as well. I currently have one, but it, it requires... It's only a basically a surface miner. It relies on pistons. It's also in the workshop if you want to check it out. This will also be in the workshop. Um, if you want to see more of this or any of my other Space Engineers content, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. And let's get this stopped here. Till then, take it easy. I think it's kind of cool. I do like this. Anyway, guys, peace.